take your section of rope and put an overhand knot in it. Now I'm going to take this knot and twist it open so that I have a figure eight. If you want a better explanation on how this happens, stay to the end of the video. Now turn it over and the center of the figure eight needs to be on top. Now from here I'm just going to take my free ends and stick them through each side of this figure eight. Pull it tight. There we go. And to finish it off, I'm just going to do another overhand knot up top. And I'll tell you why this works here in a second. There we go. Now when I pull this apart, it locks down on itself. But this is still easy to cinch up. Here's why it's important to have the center of the figure eight on top. This is a Paralink. It's a piece of titanium rope hardware I made. And one of the things you can do with it is simply slip two pieces of rope, in this case paracord, and then pull it tight, and that splices them together. Now this center piece, right here, this little center piece of titanium, is what's keeping it from coming apart. And that's the same reason why you want the center piece on top, so that the rope has something to tighten down against. Now if you wanted to make handcuffs from a paralink, this is how you would do it. Take your paracord and fold it in half, and simply Put it through one side, and then you're going to thread it through the other side. There we go. And I'm just going to take these two loose ends and thread them through this loop. Pull that loop tight. Open it up, and there it is. When I want to tighten down the handcuffs, I just pull down on these two threads. And then when I pull it apart, it stays together. All right, now you know. Here's that better explanation. Once you have your overhand knot, pinch both sides and then turn it flat. Now if you separate these two ropes, you can see that there's a little window there. All you're going to do is keep opening up that window until it opens into that figure eight. 